so <clears throat> we're putting in the um, the wireless charger on my 17 Civic hatch right now. Just putting away some tools. For all the big gravy jobs I've been doing it, doing today. Let's see here. Here's the charging thing. As you can see, it's pretty much just a panel. So plug in it, and then there's a wire harness. Um, that charger unit itself was actually on a customer's car who didn't know what they were buying. They had it installed um, for like a 6, 6S iPhone or something. But obviously it only works with iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10, and probably every Android that's out there since Android is superior. I have iPhone 8, 8 Plus. So. Um, I heard you can also get um, chargers that work with it as well. Or we'll find out, right? Real quick, these are some uh, tools I'm going to be using. I have these Matco trim tools. Um, these are really good with prying apart interior trim and not, you know, gouging them up. That's a real quick, using a screwdriver is a real quick way to uh, be putting a dashboard in for free. I don't know anything about that. I also have this Matco um, screwdriver. I've had this for probably six years. Holding up strong, rechargeable battery packs. Um, you can buy a set because 3 8 impact, same thing. Um, quarter inch, uh, quarter inch electric. And I also have another quarter inch small one. But they're awesome, especially that ratchet, that quarter inch ratchet. <clears throat> but basically, well, this is going to be replaced. Um, you have a power outlet down here. 1.5 USB plug in. My assistant Peanut um, is going to help me with this real quick. It's easier. All he does all day is accessories, so he knows what he's doing. I obviously can knock it out no problem, but if it's all you do every day all day. What are we taking apart? The middle? I'm using my GoPro, so don't you break don't you break anything don't you break anything is that how you tell you people to do it don't you break anything uh. there's that one clip that yeah. just never comes undone yeah. give me one with a little more see there you go there you go So, yeah, basically these things just pop off, the two sides. Those just pop off, on and out. Oh, we gotta pull the radio out? No, I gotta pull the radio out. Wow, you wanna you want pull that radio out so bad, don't you? You wanna pull it out last time. That's what the instructions said. Well, yeah, I don't follow instructions. I know you don't. <laughs> That's why you're doing this. <laughs> That's cool. It's crazy how it comes apart. Crazy, sexy, cool, man. I do, I tell you what I will need. I will need two short screws that will screw down in here. Okay. Uh, if you got some, I gotta screw that base down. So that base screws down into there, yeah. and then your wire harness comes up through the middle here. Yeah, yeah I gotta take it, I gotta fish it through there, but see this screw, it's gonna screw down in right there. So that just feeds through to the fuse box under the driver's dash. Mm -hmm. Right through here, through here, right over here. Plug in right there.
We don't need this anymore, do we? Nah. You just save that for whenever you gotta uh, take it out. If you want to. Pop this all back in. Uh, yeah, we're covering. Hold on. Got one for. Got the button there. Like that. Just remember, don't put your key on there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put your keys in there. If I got it on the right side, I think it's my first day or something. You got the other one? Might be up oh, it's on the seat. Okay, right. I know it should be somewhere on here. Actually made it a sensor now instead of that breather tube, right? Yeah, yeah which is whole, I like a whole lot better. Yeah, because that breather tube never goes back no. in. <laughs> no, it does not. <clears throat> so we basically fed that along down in there and yeah, we are going to the fuse box. Yeah. I gotta zip tie that up there so it don't fall down, but it ain't going nowhere. I'll go grab a zip tie or something and um Show, show the people where everything goes. Show <laughs> That's where that goes. Basically, you just gotta get the instructions off uh, from your Honda dealership and just see where everything plugs in. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Just gotta right find now. the right connector, plug it all in, and then there's was it two connectors and then one ground strap. Right. Just put the ground strap on and. And you're good to go. Good to go. As far as those two screws go, they're included in the kit, but obviously it was installed before, and they're in they're in they're in Peanuts toolbox somewhere. Kent lost them. Yeah, Kent lost them. Our parts guy. There's also stickers for the uh, fuse box and all that. If you choose to put those in, uh, Peanut Peanut always puts them in. On his, yeah, on the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> I'm gonna go find your zip tie, bud. Alright. That one. So obviously it's easier to take the whole lower cover off 
It's only three connectors and a bunch of clips, no screws. Door still trim, quarter piece. <laughs> the, that's the uh, underbody lighting or footwell lighting. Heaven forbid you have one of those unplugged and turn it on, you'll have your dash lit up like a Christmas tree. Yep. You gotta hit the brake, right? You hit the brake pedal? No. Um, don't you have to turn it on? Is there an on button? All right, there it goes. There it goes. It is charging. It's got the charge signal. Yep. And that light, where it says there's amber at right there? Yeah. It, oh, sorry. It turned green when it's full. When it's fully charged. When it's fully charged, it turns green. That is cool. Remember, it's only on a select few phones. So you oh yeah, sure. mm -hmm. 8 plus and probably every Android for the last five years since yeah. Android Superior. Yeah, my wife makes me buy Apple uh, Apple products all the time. <laughs> to each his own. Peanut, you're bleeding. <laughs> I see a wire down there, Peanut. The wire down where? <laughs> By the truck release? Go oh, right here. You gotta come back. There was a hose on it. Make sure you put that rubber hose on, otherwise it screws up your ambient temperature settings. Well, in cabin temperature. Okay. Not your outside. Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to give it about two or three days of using the wireless charger uh, to put some feedback on it for the uh, video. Um, it's great. I mean, you don't have to plug anything up. It connects, um, I, obviously you have it set up to connect um, through the Bluetooth. So all you do is throw it down there. It'll charge up your phone. Um, it's The little LED um, goes green when the phone is fully charged. Um, takes a little bit longer than charging it, you know, through a wall, um, through a wall plug-in, but, you know, you have to pay for the convenience. But anyway, um, after two or three days, it's great. No problems, no issues. I wanted to go through, um, if you buy it through a dealership or through online, it's normally $170, $180 just for the parts, last time I checked. And you can also print out the instructions or have them print out the instructions for you on the install. It makes you go through a lot more steps like pulling the radio and a bunch of other stuff. But it does show um, under the fuse box there, it does show um, where the connectors plug in. There's no splicing wires. The only thing that, you know, is kind of weird is the ground strap. Um, you just undo it from behind the um, fuse box and put it in. Um, you just ground it through a bolt that's back there, but um, as for the wiring, all it is is plug and play behind the fuse box. You unplug a connector, plug it in, and then plug that connector into the other harness. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it's, it makes it a little bit easier to install it. It's not a bad job. I mean, um, here's a little demo of it. So obviously here, you know, we have my phone. Let me get rid of that crap. Anyway, the green LEDs on. You can obviously there's a little power button right here. Just set it down in there. So it went amber. And I don't know if you can see. It's showing it's charging, not charging, charging, not charging. So it obviously picks up right away. That will go green when it's done charging, but that's pretty much it.